today we're going to look at one of the most powerful tools for color grading. Waveforms, RGB parades, and vectorscopes are probably the first thing you have to learn when you're considering color grading. So let's start with the RGB parade. This shows the amount of reds, greens and blues in your image. And this is a really handy tool to see if your shot is well balanced. So most of the time you want these three channels relatively even. I want to point out that this is not always the case. On the left side you can see the Y-X. The Y-X goes from 0 to about 1000. This is a way of measuring the highlights in your shot. If you go above 1000, you are crossing your highlights. And if you go below zero, you are crossing your blacks. So never do that, but it's always better to go below zero than above 1000. And just remember this, if you are inside, just never go above 700. And if you are outside, never go above 900. So you know you are always safe. This is a shot I took yesterday in Amsterdam. I used my Sony FX30 and I shot it in S-Log3 Cine. So I'm gonna start by pressing Alt-S to create a new note and do that three times. And then at the last note, I'm gonna add the color space transform. Then for the inputs color space, I'm gonna choose Sony s Gamut 3 Cine. For the input, I'm gonna choose S-Log3. For the output color space, I'm gonna go for Wax 709. And what I normally do is also Wax 709 for the output gamma. But I wanna try to use one of the film look slots built in DaVinci Resolve and see if I can make something with that. So I'm gonna try something else and look up Cinnamon Film Log. It's gonna make a sort of flat again. Name this color space and then I'm gonna add another note. If you go to the LUTs on the top left, you can go to film looks and then I know I already know I wanna use the bottom one, right mouse and then apply LUT to current mode. It still looks pretty shit, but yeah, we need to do the right balance. So go to the first note and we're gonna do the correction over here. And if you go to your RGB parade, um, where you don't see your RGB parade because sometimes you start with this waveform but then you can click over here and go to parade then you have your RGB parade if you want to go full screen you can click over here and you get all your scopes looking at uh, parade you can see you have too much reds in your shadows and it's not balanced at the bottom you want your red screens and blues at the same level and you want them as close as possible to the zero without crossing your blacks. In the highlights you can see that the greens and the blues are stronger than the reds so that's probably gonna change when we are going to dial up the reds in the shadows. So let's start with that. Go as low as possible without crossing your blacks. So yeah there we go. Looking pretty cool. Then I'm gonna boost the color a little bit and add some contrast. Maybe one or two saturation and some mid detail. And it's making it a little bit more warmer as you can see. So I'm gonna dial back a little bit red. So I wanna add some blue to the sky. So I'm gonna go to the second node and Use the qualifier, click on it, and then click on the blues in the sky. And when you click over here, you can see what you've selected. You can always change it by making this smaller or bigger. But in this case, it works. Gonna add some pre-filter. Click on this again so you can see what's happening. And then I'm going to the u first saturation. Click on the sky and dial up the blues a little bit. It's not much, but it's adding some nice weather to the shot. So we did the correction, we added some blues to the sky, and on the third note, I'm gonna add mask, just as a vignette. Make it big, make the feather as big, make the feather as big as possible. 
invert it and then dial back the mids over here. But because of this the brews are looking a little bit fake. So I'm gonna go back to that and dial that down a little bit. I'm actually already happy with it, but I really love the film look. So I'm gonna create another node and look up film grain and do a quick halation. Because I'm quite addicted to that. I'm not gonna do it too much. Adjust the threshold, so dial it up so it's really too much and then slowly dial it back until you like it. So the RGB player is a really handy tool for color grading and I use it in almost all my shots. So I really hope you guys learned something about it. And don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.